A complaint turned lawsuit is now a settlement Duval County Public Schools made. It's from a former Douglas Anderson student. She claims that she was sexually harassed by a former DA teacher, Jeffrey Clayton. Action News Jack's Jake Stofan reports the terms of the settlement are unknown. The former student named in the lawsuit claims Clayton stared at her breasts, made inappropriate comments, and even touched her inappropriately. The accusations are similar to those in a criminal complaint filed against Clayton last year, which resulted in his conviction earlier this month. DCPS has reached a settlement with a former Douglas Anderson student who alleged she'd been sexually harassed by former Douglas Anderson teacher Jeffrey Clayton when she was a freshman at the school in 2019. Clayton, who taught at Douglas Anderson for 22 years, was recently sentenced to 10 years in prison for sexual misconduct with a minor based on allegations from a separate student last year. That's not unusual for there to be a criminal case which is successfully prosecuted by the state. And then there are uh, a number of civil cases which follow that by the purported victims of this. The suit initially sought damages in excess of $75,000. And Action News Jack's law and safety expert Dale Carson explains, in civil settlements like these with government entities, awards are capped at $200,000. But Carson says there are ways to exceed those amounts. There has to be a bill presented. The bill has to be voted on by the state legislature. And the state legislature is basically agreeing to pay higher than the current limits. The settlement itself doesn't specify how much was awarded to the former student. We reached out to DCPS for comment and we're told, quote, not at this time, this situation is pending school board action. The board is set to consider the settlement on July 2nd. Carson says it's possible we'll see more civil suits brought against the district tied to Clayton, given his lengthy career at DA. But Carson says oftentimes victims of sexual harassment never come forward. There may be individuals who simply want to forget what happened and don't want to go over it again in order to receive a, a, a monetary settlement from anyone. And we did reach out to the former student named in this lawsuit and her attorney for comment on the story, but did not hear back. For local coverage, you can count on on the South Bank. I'm Jake Stofan, Action News Jack.